Okay, so I'm going to do a build on a dark horse clone from Tobacco. Tobago, Tobacco. Nice big fat deck. Look at that deck. Okay, can you see that? Focus in on that. Nice big post holes. Jesus. Big screws. The big deck. You got a big deck. Chunky posts. I wonder if everybody's raving about this. Okay. Nice big screws. Chunky. I would expect nothing less. Okay. Gonna be able to build some good low sub ohm on here. Nice. It's like an IGO W but with bigger posts. That's a it's an IGO W deck. Oh. What are the features of this? A lot of airflow. Big, big chimney on this. I'll probably put a chuff tip. If this one had a nice um actually it came with if I recall correctly came with a chuff style. Whatever. It's the dark horse. You've seen it, you know it. This is the one where you've got all these different options for airflow and you've got the nice air slots like that. Turn it upside down and it has less restrict the airflow. You got a million variations of where you want your airflow to be, but you know, right side is up when the dark horse is wings up. Okay, I'm not gonna get it. I'll probably leave the airflow wide open. Biggest airflow setting. So that's the top of the Addy. I'm focusing on the deck right here. 24 gauge Canthal. Gonna do some. I have no idea the measurement. No. One of these has a measurement. 330 seconds. 330 seconds drill bit, well, screwdriver bit. And I'm going to do. That's a. It's a very thick gauge wire, so I'm going to do more wraps, otherwise I'll be like way, way super sub ohm. I'm going to do, I think I could do eight wraps. Okay. One, two, ah, that's a nice thick wire. Three. Yeah, I'll clean them up when I put them on the deck. I don't have a blowtorch that's reliable, so I clean my coils up when I put them on the deck. Not bad. It, it still doesn't fucking focus. Yeah. There. No, you still can't see it. Sorry, iPhone. Okay, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This 
this nice thick wire. I'm going to do something. Tightens it up a little, makes the cords, those wraps a little more uniform. Because, yeah, I was a little wonky when I wind them. That's okay, it's going to all be cleaned up and fixed up after. If you leave the leads a little bit long, you can recover from a lot of sins. All right. Pulls those windings a little tighter. Makes them more uniform. That's what causes a little bit of those little voltage drops. Those little hot spots in the coil. So, there we go. Two nice coils. Put it back on there. Stick it on the deck. Only doing six minutes. Jeez. Those post holes are so big, I could drive a Mack truck through those post holes. Look at that. I could put some. Here's the appeal of dark holes. I could put some plastic <laughs> coils in this. Thing. There's enough room. There's chain coils and clapping coils, no problem for this deck, really. Alright, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Put that one on there nicely, tighten down the wire. There we go. That's, that's gentleman, like a gentleman. Turn those wires up to get them out of the way of the other one that's coming on. If I did this right, it should be around 0.4 ohms. If I did it right. We'll see. I didn't check. I didn't use any program. No app. Nothing. Just gonna go that's tight. good. Quick build. Look at the size of these screws. Jeez. It's almost like these wires. This is 24 gauge. Yeah, it's good. Oh, oh I, have a, I have a little trick for this. I have a trick. Here's my trick. Earth magnets. Stick them right on there. Magnetizes the hole. I don't have to worry about wires flying off. Yes, I do. If you're working with little wires, you can put those earth magnets on there. Most of the time, it pulls the, the snipped end. Right to the magnet. Oh, well. Didn't happen that time. I'm trying to do this build video in under 20 minutes. What do we got here ohm wise? 0.4. Point, point 0.33. Close enough. Okay. Now I gotta fire it up. Clean these coils up a little. Tighten them, pinch them. Yeah. 
might as well get the uh, get the Avenger in play. You smoke Avenger. Yep. Let's get him rocking. Certainly. Utilize that Addy. Oh, just such an occasion. Fire up some coils. This is a workhorse of an atom of a mechanism. Power, we got power, we got power, we got power, we got one, we got this coil heating up. That's the one to pinch. Pinch the one that's heating. It's a nice thick wire, 24 gauge. You can really pull that. You can really play around with that. It's not sensitive or fragile. Okay. There we go. Pulse it. Pulse it. Pulse it. There we go. My second coil is now starting to heat up. Friends at Chasing Coils have taught me that when you run the power through them, the one that heats up too quickly, that's the one you that need to pinch. And then you go back and, and they also they told me give it 30 seconds to cool them down. You don't really know what's going on, what your pinch, what your adjustment did until 30 seconds on by. Tool here just for this pinching coils. Ceramic. Now they're firing nicely. All we're doing when we heat these coils and pinch them, is just getting, just getting those coils nice and uniform. That's all we want. Electricity flow uniformly through round coils. Why these don't heat up at the same time? Little bits of distance. Hot spot in the middle of the coil. You get rid of it by pinching.
bottom of that firing pin really gets hot. And so these coils, they, they draw a lot of power off the battery. And okay. This is probably not the right mech mod to be using. It's a beginner's mech mod. That pin there. Yeah. It's not it's not a low ohm. Not a low ohm mod. Just it's not ideal for that. Hot build. I'll tell you that much. Nowhere it's gonna melt. Right at the base of that center post. <laughs>